Today's a Saturday, October the 1st. So I did have a particular dream last night I do want to share. So lately I'm, I'm pretty selective and careful with dreams. As I've noticed a lot of, you know, increase over the past about two, two years, a lot of attacks and uh, stuff I would consider as like deceptive attacks and, and strange stuff. Now this particular dream could be from the Lord because I quickly, when I was started looking into details, there were more layered, usually when there's layered meanings or more um, layered messages that usually is more of an indicator that the dream is from the Lord because he'll usually like put messages and layers and stuff. And clearly what I was seeing as I looked into these details, I'm it's all about nuclear, 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 nuclear. We are on the verge of nuclear war, guys. So let me go through the dream. What it it was like we were in a large um building, a lot of people and it's almost like they were pl they were playing music and you had to like follow along and sing kind of sing along like basically like you know karaoke karaoke if you're singing along um and um and so they were playing like it would switch songs and so I can't remember what the first few were but I re I remember the last two so what came the last two, so the second to the last, it was some ACDC AC -DC song. So here's the thing in real life, you know, I've never been a huge fan of music or the Hollywood or music industry in general. But yes, if I had to pick one genre, it would be more classic rock, um, one particular genre. But literally the music industry is hijacked with the devil. So I've never much cared for music the music industry in general or Hollywood movies and all that stuff. It's been, they, you know, they're fully run by the devil. But so what started playing was some sort of ACDC song. Okay. And then, and then next, it, the song switched. So everyone was trying to sing along to this ACDC song. Then it switched to, um, I believe it was a song by that band Fallout Boy. And see, this particular band I've never really cared for in the past. Very mainstream, more uh, too uh, like poppy mainstream. And as I go through the meaning of you know where their names came from, you'll see what I'm talking about. So so the, it switched to that. To I believe it was like a, some Fallout Boy song. Like I knew it in a dream. Like I was trying to figure it out. And but then it got really loud. Like whatever the speakers got extremely loud to where it was like going to blow out your hearing. Like that's how loud it was. It could damage your hearing. So what me and a few other people did, we literally, we had to leave. We got out of there, which I believe this could represent like the rapture. We got up and we started leaving because it was so loud. We knew it could like literally blow out your eardrums. The volume just rapidly went up. And so then we walked off. We left this, uh, the large you know, room place we were in, we walked down a hallway and we um like knew it was almost time to get some food. And there was a guy I used to know, and I think maybe another one. And we walked up to um we got in line and it was like an Ital it was more Italian food. And so the weird thing is once we got to the counter I could see all the Italian food pizzas and stuff. And the uh the the uh servers, the people behind the counter, they were telling the this the guy next to me I used to know. You know, he was the one, you know, in front of me and they were telling him that, um, like you, like you can't get any food right now. They, they were saying the power is out. Like the electricity had gone out. There's no power. We're not serving food right now. And he was saying, you'll have to wait. I believe he was saying like two hours. Once I started asking him what's going on, you know, and I was asking him this food, it looks like you got food here. Can we eat this? And he's like. He was basically saying it's more for display food. Like this is not, this food is not going to be served. It's more for a display. And he was saying pretty much you'll have to wait two hours before you can eat. And then I was like, well, and then the guy I was with, him and a few others were like, you know, we're going to leave to, I guess this restaurant had another location down the street. He's like, we're going to go to down the street or down the other way. 
And then I was like, you know, I decided not to go with them. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go find another place. And so I walked to a, um, here's the thing. I walked to a, uh, um, it was a subway. It was like a subway. And I was expecting like, you know, normal subway stuff. And it was weird. I was looking at all the film like, this doesn't make any sense. It was like, um, it was a lot of like, um, like pot, you know, pot roast beef, like a slow cooked roast pot roast, something you would cook in like a slow cooker, a very tender, juicy cuts and cuts of this. And I, there was a guy near me and I was asking, I'm like, this doesn't, you know, I wanted regular subway. What is going on here? Why is this like a, um, you know, this doesn't even look like sub, uh, you know, subway type sandwiches. Like what is going on here? And then he was explaining, like, here you serve yourself on that section, then they'll give you this food. And so they started, I started getting some of the, like, beef pot roast juicy on my plate, and then that's where the dream ended. So a pretty strange dream, but as I started looking through the details, I very quickly saw it was all about nuclear. So here's the thing, so the, the band ACDC... So they developed the ideal for the band's name after their sister saw the initials ACDC on the AC adapter of a sewing machine. ACDC is an abbreviation for alternate, alternating current direct current. So alternating current direct current. So that's where the band got their name from. It's literally directly related to electricity, the power grid. So that's what was playing. That's that's the second to the last song I heard. And then the next song, it was like, um, I believe it was Fall Out Boy. And like I said, I never cared much for that band in the past. Too mainstream, too poppy. So I had no clue about Fall Out Boy, where their name came from, what is the origin. So I looked it up. So they're from Illinois. They formed in 2001. This is interesting. So that's the year the Twin Towers were taken down. The name Fall Out Boy was chosen when the band asked the crowd in their second show what their name should be. And the audience members shouted, Fall Out Boy. So the name of the Simpsons fictional superhero, Radioactive Man Sidekick. So this band got their name from a fictional superhero, Fall Out Boy. So nuclear fallout. And so fallout boys sidekick in the comic book Radioactive Man. So it appeared in a, uh, a comic book and it, in, he appeared in essentially like a Simpsons episode. And we know a lot of the people have pointed out Simpsons stuff from old Simpsons episodes have been coming to pass. And so. So Fallout Boy was an average bookworm until he met billionaire uh, so Claude at a radioactive convention. So a machinery fell towards them. Claude grabbed the rod, jumped over the rail, and the machine came to life. And as the ray passed through Claude, it hit Rod. He received a pint-sized version of his powers and became Fallout Boy. So we see from the comic and the premise if there's a whole radioactive nuclear connection. And so he actually basically, in a Simpsons episode, what they were saying was that um, one of the Simpsons episode, they were going to make a film based off the radioactive man. And then, the, you know, there were characters playing out to be fa this fallout boy. So it's all radioactive. So nuclear fallout, a so residual radioactive material propelled in the upper atmosphere, falls out of the sky after an explosion, refers to radioactive dust and ash after a nuclear weapon explodes, so nuclear fallout. So I had no clue that band was named literally after, um, you know, basically nuclear fallout. And so here's what's really interesting. So when I went to that Italian restaurant, they weren't serving because the power was out. I believe that means that like an EMP had been set off, no power, no electricity. Once again, related to that ACDC band was playing which is alternating current, direct current, once again, electricity. So electricity had gone out. And so after that, I went to a subway. And this is crazy. When I was reading through the history of subway, they began in 1965. 17-year-old Fred asked his family friend Peter Buck, 
a nuclear physicist. So this guy was a nuclear physicist for advice on how to pay for college tuition with the ideal to open a submarine sandwich shop in a $1,000 investment from Dr. Buck. The two formed a business par partnership that would change the landscape of quick service restaurant industry. So this Peter Buck, Dr. Peter Buck, he was a nuclear physicist, co-founder of Subway, nuclear physicist. And so he passed away literally uh, last year, November 18th, 2021, November 18th. That's a year ago. We are approaching November. So if this dream is from the Lord, I believe he could be saying uh, things are going to may go nuclear literally in November. We could literally be that close. So if things go nuclear, then that would mean the rapture is very close. So I'm not sure if this dream is from the Lord, but there's enough layered, layered messages in it. They're all coherent about nuclear, nuclear, ACDC, the electrical grid going down. So most likely in, a, in an attack by Russia, what they're going to do first, most likely is set off probably two, two or three EMP electromagnetic pulse, nuclear aerial in the sky, high altitude nukes over the U.S. to take down the power grid. That would be their first goal to take down the power grid. So cut off all communications, take down the electrical grid across the U.S. So once they do that, then they would probably proceed to start launching, um, you know, multiple nukes to take out uh, the large cities. So people have literally had dreams about the EMPs going off, the grid going down. And some of these people have even had dreams where we're still here. So one possibility is we could actually be here when the EMPs go off, when the grid goes down. But if that's the case, then you would know the rapture would be very imminent, probably minutes to hours away. Because after Russia takes down the power grid, most likely next would be the... Uh, in a matter of minutes to hours, the uh, nukes would start hitting the big cities. So we would, you know, we would be taken out of here before the big cities get nuked. But one possibility, I mean, we could be here to see the grid go down if Russia sets off one or two aerial EMP uh, weapons. So I believe this is what the dream could relate to because the ACDC, that's the power grid. And then the one restaurant... The power was out. So I wanted to share that. A God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.